Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Okay, to go and override a bootstrap style, first you need to work out which one you want to override. So I'm going to insert a button and then figure out the style name. So I'm gonna go insert button. Okay, and remember we looked at earlier that we found a class called btn uh, hyphen danger. And I like it, I wanna use it, but I wanna change the background color. Okay, I don't want it to be red. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use this thing here. Okay, I'm gonna select it all and copy it. And I'm gonna to go to my bootstrap.css, this big mammoth thing somewhere in there is the style that makes uh, btn danger big and red with white text. Now, I don't wanna go searching for it manually. Let's go to edit and let's go to find and type it in here. Okay, click find next. And there he is there, hit close. So what I wanna do is grab this whole class. Okay, you gotta make sure you grab the curly braces. There's this one in the beginning here, one at the end and hit copy. So I'm gonna go to edit, copy. Then I'm gonna to jump to my CSS, my nice, clean, empty CSS, and we're gonna override it here. So I'm gonna paste it in using edit paste and make sure I've got my curly braces that have come along for the ride. And there's my uh, button danger and it's got the full stop at the beginning, making uh, that lets it know that it's a class. Okay, and the things that I wanna change is pretty much just the background color and maybe the border color as well. I don't wanna change the color. You'll notice that the word color always refers to the text color. Can you see it's white? And the background color refers to obviously the background color. But if you see color by itself, it means the font color. So actually I don't want to change it at all. So there's no point overriding it and saying it's the exact same color. So I'm going to delete that one. It's the background color and the border color I want to change. So I want to change this to another color. So uh, what I can do is if I know the hexadecimal number, I can just type it in here. I don't know a few of them off by heart. Like I know that FFF was uh, white and I know that 000 is black, uh, but that's about all that I remember off the top of my head. So I need to go off and find a color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo, so edit, undo to get back to where it was. And I'm gonna make sure that everything is saved, saved all. Okay, I'm gonna get my CSS designer and now I'm gonna go and change it using the CSS designer. So to do it, I'm going to click off into my design view. I'm gonna click on my main.css and the good thing about it is that there's only one class in here. Okay, they're called selectors, that's the overriding name for uh, things like classes and IDs that go in your CSS, but there he is there. Okay, um, you might be, just to make sure that you're not stuck in current. Current can get a little bit lost. Current's great when you know what you're doing, but when you don't, go to all and it just list everything here. So I can click on this. And down the bottom here, uh, I can go and style it. Now there's lots to go and style, potentially. Okay, there he is, there's the background color. Now, just to tidy things up, watch this. If you click show set, Instead of showing you all the things that haven't been done or potentially could be done, click show set. It only shows you the things that have been done. In this case, it's only got the border style and the background color. If I turn it off again, it shows me everything. Okay, but with it on, it cuts it down to a nice, easy, manageable list. So, uh, color, and so background color, that's the border color, and let's do the background color. So I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna use this hue slider to change the hue. Okay, and uh, my new danger color is going to be magenta. Okay, but nice bright pink. Once you pick it, there's the hue slider. This is how light or dark it potentially is, and this is how opaque it is, okay, or how see-through it is. Let's click enter. And you'll notice that my background color is changed to this magenta color. And um, what you'll also notice is the CSS and bootstrap says be red, but your one, okay, your main.css overrides it saying the background color is magenta. And that's what we're gonna do a lot of in this class is that we'll leave the bootstrap CSS doing its thing and then we're gonna override it with our own custom stuff. Okay, great. So that was just there for as an example. So I'm gonna go delete the one that says button danger and I'm gonna delete the button. I'm gonna select it, delete it from my document. I'm gonna go file, save all. All right, and that is how you customize Bootstrap by overriding it using your own CSS sheet. Hey there, 
Remember, this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link down below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi, da da.